Hey guys, it's Asiri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing today guys? Hello. If you're new and today is your first time of clicking into any of my videos, hi, my name is Asiri. Um, I hope you do subscribe if you enjoy watching this video and you enjoy my type of content. And if you already subscribed, just checking if I have makeup on my teeth. Okay, I don't. If you're already subscribed, thank you for coming back to watch another video. So guys, by the title you're probably thinking, what is this video all about? Like, why would she say something like that? But yeah guys, um, this video, I actually did not plan to make this video at all. This video was actually prompted by a comment somebody left on my last video, the one I, my last vlog I made. Um, and I'm just going to read the comments that she said and I'm also just going to pop the comments on the screen too. So here goes the comment. <clears throat> You are naturally very attractive. They always start this kind of comments with a compliment. You're naturally very attractive. Why do you feel the need to wear so many fake pieces of hair and fake nails? Why not groom your own hair, manicure and polish your own nails too? Um, too many fake beauty items make women look fake. In addition, all of that fake hair distracts from your natural youthful beauty. What next? A skin whitener? Are, are indigenous African women suddenly becoming ashamed of their blackness? And when I first saw this comment, I was like, how did she get that from my vlog? It's, it's so funny. Like, how did she get the fact, how did she get me being fake, um, hating my blackness, and uh, I'm being ashamed of my blackness? How did she get that from the vlog? And you know, there were some um, Carson replied that, like, mind your own business, and some other girl to reply that, like, uh, you're just being a hater and stuff. Like, people too coming for my defense. And she replied and she said, um, Sorry, I'm looking for the comment that she said to the one girl that, okay, she said, um, Heed your own advice. She's commented to um, another girl who said, um, this girl is just a plain internet hater. Get your life together and mind your own business. And she was replying to that person and said, Heed your own advice. You don't know me, and I certainly am not interested in making your acquaintance. You obviously did not see this lady's video where she talks incessantly about hating her blackness. Enough said. Um, it's so funny when she, that she's telling someone to mind their own business when she's on the internet, not minding her business. I get it. I put. When you, as when you put yourself on the internet, um, you're putting yourself open, you're opening yourself to people's criticism, people's comments and stuff. I absolutely get it. So if you are bold enough to put a hate comment on people's video, be bold enough to, you know, take it when people come in defense of whoever you're hating on and don't tell the person to mind your own business when you in the first place, when you mind your own business. Um, I'm not putting out this video to respond to the hate comment because Carson and I have done that kind of video in the past before. This video, I just actually, because it, it just prompted me about, prompted me to talk about something, which is, um, first of all, one thing she mentioned about this video is black women wearing wigs. Um, you know, like how black women don't like their natural hair and da 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 da. Um, I'm going to talk about my own personal experience and just what we know like in general in life as black women and us living in this world, in this earth. Uh, <clears throat> black women wearing weaves is nothing new. I think everybody on the, co of the corner of this world, thanks to YouTube, know that black women wear weaves and weaves. And um, most people can be like, yeah, the reason why black women wear weaves is because maybe they don't like their hair, maybe they don't like themselves and stuff like that. But there is, it's more than that. Um, I'm not gonna deny and say for me personally at the beginning growing up when I was young being a teenager I made you guys have seen my that video where I talked about hating my being hating being dark-skinned um, I'm not gonna lie that being a teenager growing up, you know when I used to wear wigs and stuff I'm not gonna deny the fact that part of it was because I didn't really think my natural hair was beautiful Part of it was that like for for a long time in my life that was mostly one of the reasons why I was, I was wearing wigs. I would never want to go out with like my natural hair, especially when I was in university. I wouldn't want to go out with my natural hair, I always want to wear wigs. But I've left that phase of my life a long time ago. Like, this girl you see now, like, I love every part of me. I love everything that makes me black. Every little inch of my blackness, my hair, my skin tone. I love it and the reason I wear with today is not because I don't like my natural hair it's so funny because that video where she actually made that comment like 
80% of that video, I was wearing my natural hair. My natural hair. I know some content creators that I watch who are black girls that will not come on YouTube without wearing a wig. For whatever reason, it's best to them. You know, everybody has their own journey, has their own struggle. Whatever reason, best to them, they wouldn't come on YouTube without wearing a wig. You wouldn't see them in any video without a wig. You know, it is what it is. Um, and here I am, like, I am not ashamed of my natural hair. Not at all. And I'm not actually putting out this video to defend myself or anything. But I just want to say, like, people should stop coming on to black women for wearing wigs. We wear wigs for so many reasons. Like, for example, like, in America, like, you know how they say, like, your natural hair is not work-appropriate kind of hair. In that kind of situation, what do you expect them to do? Because people want to assimilate, people want to get jobs, people want to be able to live their lives and do day-to-day -day activities. And if your natural hair is not seen as work-appropriate, what do you expect the black woman to do? Be jobless? Of course not. You know, at first, with these kind of things, it was a way of assimilating into, into like the culture and the place they find it, especially in like North America. Because I'm African, you know, everybody where I grew up is pretty much black. So everybody, you know, is one. But like in North America where, you know, there's like uh, colorism, white supremacy and all those kind of things and the media doesn't even push black women out there like that. So in those kind of situations, it was black women trying to assimilate, trying to survive, wearing wigs like, okay, we have to wear these wigs, we have to wear these hairs to be able to get jobs. Even till this date, I, I mean, I don't know very much, but there are some states in America who that still don't let like black women bring their natural hair to work. So in that kind of situation, what are you going to say in that kind of situation? Yeah, and also, so fucking what? I'm sorry, I just cursed. <laughs> you know what? So what? What if a black woman wants to wear a wig? It's all like, what if she wants to? Let women just do whatever they want to do. Like, just in general, let's, let's, let's just even take black women out of the equation. Just in general, just let women do whatever they want to do, wear whatever they want to wear, put on makeup, whatever they want to do. Just let women be. And most importantly, let black women be. We have it enough. In this and it's funny because that, that comment actually came from a woman and I would assume it's a black woman I would want to assume she is but even if she's not like coming from your own fellow woman like like come on people wear wigs this is for so many reasons protective styling you know I personally my hair is natural and I cannot take care of my own hair for the life of me you've seen that video of me struggling to do my hair i'm still learning my hair i cannot do my own i mean i can do my own colors but it's always very shabby at the end and so i just put my wig over it because you know what and having my natural hair out it's a lot of maintenance the few times that i do it if i put my natural hair out two days tops two days and i'm it's back on that wig just because i cannot maintain it i don't know how to maintain my natural hair when it's out so i wear a wig for the convenience of it like i love the convenience and i also like how it makes me look i'm not gonna lie i love the look the different looks having wearing weeds wearing my natural hair i love the different looks it give me i love the different uh, versatility if that's the word i'm looking for i like it and it's convenient for me and you know what it's none of your business if i want to wear wigs okay and another thing you talked about is um she said i made a video where i talked about hating my blackness sis if you didn't watch that video i mean it's pretty obvious you didn't watch that video because in that video i said i hated being black i hated being dark skin no yeah that's what i said i hated being dark skin and also in that video i said obviously i i don't feel that way anymore i love being black now i love my skin color i love my melanin i love everything about me so i don't understand where you're saying obviously you didn't watch her video where she talked about hating her blackness yes i hated being dark skin but not anymore and you know what like i feel like if you're a black person watching this video especially if you're dark skinned like me i feel like at one stage of our lives not not obviously not every dark skinned woman but at one stage of your life as a dark skinned girl you wanted to be light skinned because that was what was deemed as beautiful like that was what you saw was beautiful that's what people around you said was beautiful and you wanted to be light-skinned like i'm not i'm not ashamed to say that it's part of my journey it's part of my growth it's part of what makes me who i am like those um part of my those phase of my life that i went through and those phase of my life is 
what brought me here today loving my skin accepting it knowing that you know what this is the skin god gave to me and god gave it to me for a reason and i'm gonna love it and i'm gonna accept it and i'm gonna live with it because you know what i wouldn't want to live i wouldn't want to be in any other skin color at some point i did but i don't want to right now at this point of my life i love me i love my skin i love my melanin and there are other girls out there who are the dark skin girls out there who would 100 relate to what i was saying like most of us had that phase of wanting to be light-skinned because you know what it is what society said was beautiful so i just feel like <sighs> coming onto my video and being like leaving those kind of comments i'm just like you know what if you don't have anything better to say how about you just stop and how about people just like i said stop telling women what to do if a woman wants to wear wig she talked about wearing wig talking about makeup talking about what else is she talking about wearing fake nails like please i beg i beg i beg i beg i beg i beg don't make me vex i beg let women do whatever they want to do i beg you if a woman wants to wear makeup if she wants to wear long nails or as long as the ones cardi b wears whatever she wants to do if she wants to wear wigs and see it's not your business okay how does that affect you let people do whatever makes them feel comfortable let people do whatever makes them feel um confident and stuff okay and she talked about uh so what next am i going to start bleaching my skin i'm like sis if i wanted to bleach my skin it's not today i've done it a long time ago when i was young and i was feeling you know like i didn't like my skin if i wanted to bleach my skin i would have bleached my skin you think i've been if i didn't bleach my skin when i was like 18 19 it's not that i'm 28 a full-blown grown woman that i would not want to go and bleach my skin please okay like this video wasn't planned that comment just didn't sit with me in the right way because um, she is not the first person to be coming for black women, especially for wearing wigs. She's not the first person coming to black women. And she will probably not be the last person for coming to black women for wearing wigs. And I just want to say, you know what? Leave black women alone. You know what? It is none of your business if a black woman wants to wear a wig. None of your business if a black woman wants to take out a natural hair. It's absolutely, absolutely none of your business. Let black women do whatever they want to do. Okay? Stop coming to the internet to police us, tell us what we should do, what should not do. And just you know saying something like making it seem like the fact that a black woman a black woman wear wigs means the woman is ashamed of her blackness or that she hates her blackness or that she hates being black when there are so many reasons why women could be wearing wigs for some reason it could be alopecia you know when you don't have like front hair and your hair keeps your edges just keeps falling off first like I personally, if I had that kind of like hair problem, I wouldn't feel comfortable letting out my natural hair. I would want to cover it up. You don't know why women wear wigs for so many reasons. Some of them maybe they have cancer and they just don't want to show their head bald like that. They want to wear wigs to cover it up. For some people, it's just because they like it. For someone like me, it's because I like it and it's because I want to wear it and I'm going to keep wearing it. It's as simple as that. So. I hope you stay tuned for so many videos young lady that left that comment because you're going to be seeing me wearing more wigs in my videos and there uh, i hope you enjoy it okay guys i'm done uh ranting this was just me ranting you people should leave us alone with our wig it's not your head we're wearing the wig on it's not your business it's not your money we're using to buy the wig so uh let black women be let us be okay okay thank you all right okay so I'm done ranting guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, impromptu rant <laughs> and please learn to mind your business on the internet, okay? Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, um, like this video if you did and I'll see you guys in my next one, bye!